Hi folks, in this tutorial we'll see the internal working of a Java concurrent hash map. Also we'll compare it with a synchronized map and see what are the differences between the two. For this I'll take reference of my website javainews.com. So first we'll see what is the what is a concurrent hash map, uh, what is its structure, then we'll compare it with a synchronized map. We'll be implementing a simple example to understand when to use a synchronized map and when to use a concurrent hash map. So let's go through what is a concurrent hash map. A concurrent hash map provides a concurrent version of the standard hash map. It is part of the java.util.concurrent uh, package structure. So its functionality is similar to that of a hash map except that it has internally, internally maintained concurrency. By default, the concurrency level is 16. We'll, we'll see what does uh, it means that the uh, concurrency level is 16 uh, in the example that we do. Here it means that internally it gets divided into 16 segments and each segment behaves independently. What do we mean behave independently? Whenever we write any value to a concurrent hash map, it gets written to one of these uh, 16 uh, segments and uh, it each uh, write operation does, is independent of the write operation for the other segment. We'll see the example of how this works. We use concurrent hash map when a high level of concurrency is required. But uh, for this concurrency already synchronized map is available. So why should we use a concurrent hash map? The major advantage of a concurrent hash map is that in case of a synchronized map every write operation acquires the lock on the entire map while in case of a concurrent hash map the lock is only on one of the segments. So as can be seen in this diagram in case of a synchronized map suppose if I am writing a value on the in the second segment still the uh, ma the lock will be on the entire synchronized map if suppose while the operation of writing to the second segment is going on and someone tries to write in the fifth segment still uh, an exception will be thrown as the map uh, as the lock is on the entire map and will get a concurrent modification exception in case of a concurrent hash map the uh, lock is only on a particular segment. So if a write operation is going on on the second segment if someone tries to write uh, on the fourth segment then the no exception will be thrown. So the concurrency is much more atomic in case of a concurrent hash map. Let's uh, implement an example. So we'll be implementing a very simple example. Here what we'll do is we'll create multiple helper classes and each of this helper class will implement a runnable interface. We'll create multiple threads and each thread will try to write the value in the same hash map that we'll pass uh, as a value to each uh, that instance will pass to each of the helper methods. So synchronously we'll try to write uh, values to the same map and we'll check the behavior uh, of how uh, in case of uh, uh, synchronous map and in case of concurrent hash map. So here we have a helper method which takes an instance of a map and tries to write it write some value to it. Initially we'll create a synchronized map and we'll pass the same synchronized map to multiple helper methods which will try to write value to it. We'll see what happens in this scenario. Later on we'll create an instance of a concurrent hash map, pass the same value of concurrent hash map to multiple helper methods and again we'll check the behavior. So let's start with the implementation. Go to Eclipse and create a Java project. I'll name it as Next we'll create the helper methods Copy this. So 
So here we are passing an instance of a map here and uh, we are going to write the value some value to it in the run method create multiple such helper methods here so we have four helper methods Last will create the main class which will create a new hash map. Then from it using collections.synchronize map create a synchronized map and pass it to each of the helper methods. Then each of the helper method will synchronously try to write some value in it and we'll check the behavior. So just create this main class. We'll run and see what happens here. As we can see, uh, we get a concurrent modification exception. So what happens is that one of the helper methods is trying to write the value to the synchronized map and it has taken the lock on the entire synchronized map. So, so some other thread then tries to write the value to the same instance of the synchronized map but since it is locked, if we get a concurrent uh, modification exception. Let us now replace this synchronized map with a concurrent hash map. So what we'll do is, we'll just have to make this single change. We'll pass this instance of the concurrent hash map to all the helper methods. So now so now the helper methods will have the instance of a concurrent hash map and they will try to uh, synchron synchronously insert some value into this concurrent hash map. Let's run this example. So we can see that in case of a concurrent hash map we don't get any exception. This is because the helper methods, uh, when they try to write to it to a concurrent hash map, the synchron uh, the concurrency level is much more in case of a concurrent hash map since the lock is taken only on a particular segment, so it doesn't affect when we are writing it to the other segments. So concurrent hash map provides much more level of concurrency than a synchronized map. Next, let us see the internal working of a concurrent hash map. What we will do is we will debug the application and see how the segments are created in a concurrent hash map. I will just add some debug statements here and I will run it in debug mode. So currently the concurrent hash map is not created. Here the concurrent hash map it gets created. Initially the no segments have been initialized here. Okay. So when the helper method, first helper method, it tries to insert some value in it. It's then that the concurrent hash map it gets initialized and you can see here that 16 segments now have been created. Out of this only one has been instantiated. The other 15 they are as null. So the performance wise also concurrent hash map it adds no overhead even if by default it creates 16 segments. As and when required only then the segments will get initialized. 
So here now two segments got initialized. The third one. So as and when required, only then the segments they will get initialized or instantiated. Hope you have understood the internal working of the concurrent hash map. Now let us just go through the differences once more theoretically what we have seen. So in case of a synchronized hash map, the synchronization is at this object level or the class level. In case of concurrent hash map, synchronization is at the segment level. The lock is obtained for read-write operation at the object level. It is obtained at the segment level. Concurrency level cannot be set for optimization. As we can see that it is at the object level. Whereas here we can set the concurrency level. By default it is 16. We can change it ourselves according to our needs. Concurrent modification exception is thrown if a thread tries to modify an existing synchronized map which is being executed. In this case also concurrent modification exception will be thrown but the chances are less since there is more concurrency here. Since at a given time only a single thread can modify the map and block other threads the performance is comparatively bad whereas in this case the comparis comparatively it is much better. So hope you have uh, understood this example. You can download the source code from here. Thanks.